We decided to stay at home and cook a Thanksgiving dinner, which we had never done before. Just the two of us. Hey guys, my name is Tiffany Bird Harrison. And I'm Joseph Harrison. And we are doing a story time today, which is all about our solo duet Thanksgiving. First alone Thanksgiving. First alone Thanksgiving. And we cooked the dinner, y'all. Before I move any further, make sure that you like this video to find out if we got salmonella poisoning or not. Hit the thumbs up. Yeah, ooh, not thumbs up for salmonella though. <laughs> thumbs up for the video. for the video. So we decided to stay at home and cook a Thanksgiving dinner which we had never done before. Just the two of us. Two adult people. We had no idea what we were doing. No idea. We're doing it live. We're doing it live. But when you come from so many years, right? A couple, yeah. couple decades mm -hmm. of having Thanksgiving with so many people. Yes. How does one rationalize how to pare down the menu, right? We went to Aldi because we're cheap. We were like, cool, we've got our list, we're ready to go. We were shooting down aisles. And I would totally like insert pictures of what we did, but like I try to do an Instagram reel and capture everything and then I lost the reel, y'all, okay? Get it together, and we get this beautiful round turkey out of the freezer. We pull it out, we get to the line, and we find out that there are different poundages for turkey. Did you guys know this? This is like an adult lesson for me. I didn't know. The cashier is like, oh, you guys got a big one, huh? And we were like, big uh, one? What are you talking about? No, we just got a regular, we just got a regular turkey. It's just the two of us. And he goes, oh, this is a 20 pounder. And we're like, we got a 20 pound turkey. <laughs> You said that we had a young turkey. Well, so we, we grabbed something. It was called a young turkey. So it was probably definitely smaller, right? And then it, this one over here is like, ooh, ooh butterball. Butter because <laughs> you know, <laughs> sometimes- Because I recognize the brand. And, and look, you know, we are veterans of Aldi, right? But yes. sometimes you get surprised at the names that the, the actual brands you'll find in there. Exactly. And so I, she you know, she like, oh. <laughs> shout out to Aldi because straight up, like I did not know there was gonna be a butterball turkey at Aldi. It's yeah. so like, well, we're going home with this 21.5 pound turkey. Uh, we're just gonna make it work. How about you smash that like button if you shop at Aldi? Come on. Bro. Hey, yeah. smash the like button. I like that. Y'all know what it is. Make sure that you know everything there is to know about cooking your main protein. Of, way before the day like, of, or week of. Yeah, maybe before the day of, because we did not, I didn't study. So like, study for the test so you can pass. That's the first tip. I found every blog I could possibly find on what to do to prepare a turkey, because it was frozen solid. Look, we didn't know. We had no We'd idea. We've eaten plenty of birds. <laughs> <laughs> but never Look, cooked one. Not. So I'm like, you know what, Joe, you're going to work. Let me handle this. I can I thaw it. This. I got this. It thawed out in some cold water in the cooler. It was good to go. So once it was thawed, I was like, word, I'm gonna brine the turkey. Leave a comment down below if you know what brining a turkey is because according to my mother, she's never done that and she has no idea what this process is. So I was left to it alone. It was just me and Martha Stewart's blog trying to figure this out. Expect the unexpected. There were so many things that we had never, we would have never foreseen or understood and it only went better because we were together doing it. During the brining process, I had the most comical situation that I've ever had in my life. I was with this big turkey at home. I mean, if you're squeamish, turn this part off. But literally, it started squirting like meat juices around the kitchen. And I'm like running around like, what do I do? What do I do? And like no one's in the house. It's just me and like in my robe. Bloody turkey. With the bloody turkey. It's just like squirting. It just looked, it looked horrifying. And I didn't know what to do. So I finally got it to like rest in the, sink with the um like i had like a little roaster pan in there and i put it in there i was so afraid to pick it back up again that i like i like just kept rotating it to see if i could get all the juices out and then i was like okay just clean it pat it dry and then put it in the brine and be done with it it was horrifying we got up at like five and six a.m respectively yeah we well, i'm not a chef i hope i won't spell he's anything. a better cook than i am though yeah. i'm happy to admit that but i chop at the speed of sloth so. <laughs> just real so slow. the whole extra hour i had on her was just me trying to chop up the onions and the green peppers and celery as finely as possible to go on our cornbread dressing we cooked our mashed potatoes our macaroni and cheese our stuffing cabbage cabbage and dressing and dressing dang it what is it dressing Sorry, Joe has told me that apparently black people don't call it 
stuffing, they call it dressing. L listen up, America. <laughs> a good friend of mine told me, matter of fact, unless you're putting it inside of the bird, the dressing inside of the bird, it is not stuffing. I don't and care if it's cooked on the stove top or any of that. <laughs> and it's, Mama says that it's called dressing because you dress it, you dress turkey with it. We ain't stuffing nothing. Teamwork makes the dream work, right? Like, you know what I mean? We did everything we could to this turkey, okay? Mm. We buttered the outside. We got inside the skin. skin. Now, Joe really got in there. Like, he had his hand in the turkey. We were both wearing we were wearing gloves. That doesn't, make it sound, that doesn't make it sound better. But, so literally we put it in the oven and we put it at 350. We're supposed to put it in there for a three and a half to four hours. Once oh, yeah. we changed it at the halfway mark and we covered it with foil to get it to cook. Then it seemed like it would never get to the internal temperature we wanted. And the, and the internet is, it doesn't have the, you know, not concise. You don't have the answer, Slay. You guys were saying under the thigh, you were saying in <laughs> you don't between have the, the thigh, answers. and you were saying right in the middle of the breast. I'm just kept trying to find places. And the reading's all over the map. So finally, when we thought, we were like, we don't even care. We hope it's cooked all the way through. But like at this point, it's been in the oven for seven but, uh, hours. Look, it was our first mistakes time. Mistakes were made. It was our first time making Thanksgiving, okay? I can't believe our parents did this. Like on their own, like both Joe and I were raised by single moms and they were cooking Thanksgiving dinner. My mother had turkey, so I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I have no idea. They started cooking like Monday. Right. <laughs> finally got it cooked. We finally started, we started trying to cut it up. It was not pretty cut. So we were just chopping. Right, okay. No, we didn't know how to go in there. Chopping the, chopping the white meat and the dark meat. And we got it. We did. We got it finally. We started at five this morning. Yeah. And, and we didn't eat till five-ish. We ate at like five-ish. The sun so, was going down. If you've stayed this far into the story, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. Working with this guy made all of this holiday not only great and better, but it made it easier to not be around family for this time. We had a great day today. And uh, it, I didn't necessarily miss not being around family. Not to say I don't miss you guys, because I do, mm -hmm. but being with her made it easier if for some strange reason I was just away from family and just here by myself. Something that we really have learned is that home is really, it's not a place, right? It's with the people who are aligned with you. It is with the people you're connected to. It feels super accomplished. Like we were able to not only make a dinner, but we were also able to enjoy a day that can be incredibly somber in a time where people can't be with each other. And there's a lot of restrictions and a lot of social distancing. Work with what you've got, like, and don't forsake the things that are blessings right in front of you. Because even though this wasn't That's a good. traditional Thanksgiving, it was so meaningful. And I think it was meaningful because we appreciate this time so much more. If you haven't seen it already, we did a series called Redemption in Marriage, which is all about my best friend right here, Joseph Harrison. It'll who, be somewhere above somebody. Yeah, so uh, so here, somewhere over here. Right. Our journey into, from singleness into marriage and uh, really just where we are now. Make sure you leave me a comment down below answering this question. What was your Thanksgiving like and what do you plan on doing to make your next holiday even better? I would love to know what your guys' thoughts are and I'm so thankful for you. So have an awesome week. I'll see you next time. Bye guys.